Hey guys, Miss Disney's back here. So here's episode 15, part two, with Prince Disney right here. And look, Quinn is in the background too. So we are going to be playing some blocks while we are talking about Peter Pan and Wendy. You want to play? So let's build. Let's build something. <laughs> so as I was saying, um, if you look towards the end of Peter Pan and Wendy, you will notice that Captain Hook and Peter Pan are kind of glancing at each other, and they were smiling at each other. <laughs> so it kind of gave Captain Hook the purpose uh, of his purpose again. So what's wrong? Blue, here, here's blue. Yeah, good job. So I gave him his purpose again, which he lost after he uh, killed Peter Pan. <gasps> good job. You want it? You trying to give it to me? You trying to give it to me? Oh, it's okay. Let's we'll build some more, okay? <laughs> I'm starting to think I should call this building with Disney. <laughs> So, yeah, I, li I like the movie, but I think I love the 1953 because we saw Peter Pan growing up <laughs> in a way that Peter Pan shouldn't grow up. I mean, you're a kid. You're, you don't always apologize for your actions on wh what you do or... Yellow. Yeah, yellow. And sometimes you don't always uh, apologize to uh, your friend about what you did, especially... If they think they didn't do anything wrong. Let's face it. Peter Pan did something wrong. He cut off James's hand, didn't he? Did Peter Pan cut off Hook's hand? See? See? Prince Disney agrees with me. Green? Green like Peter Pan and the crocodile. So, I think... While I... While I didn't really... Okay. Here. Why don't we add on to my tower? While I didn't like the remake too, too well, it was definitely enjoyable. I mean, I kind of watched it 15 times since last week. I mean, it, it, it really did brought my attention, even though I wasn't really a big fan. And quite frankly, I think I'm really looking forward to the Little Mermaid um, movie a lot more than the Peter Pan and Wendy but that's because I grew up yellow, with princesses more. Yellow. Another yellow? Find yellow. Find yellow. Where's yellow? You find yellow. Where's yellow? There it is. Yellow. <laughs> <laughs> You're so silly. You're so silly. Blue. Good job. Yeah, but in all honesty, purple. That's purple. Purple. This may not be my best episode yet, but let's face it. You got to do what you got to do. And I, and I think... What? What? Blue. Which one's blue? Which one's blue? What? That's where? That's black. Black. Sorry, guys. <laughs> I'm enjoying this way too often, and that's okay. Black. Black. Like Captain Hook's soul. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you love your villains, don't you? I don't know whether I should be scared or not. <laughs> La -la. Yeah, yeah. In all honesty, boys and girls, or ladies and gentlemen, I think I said enough from um, the first part of, of this episode. I'm sorry that this is, episode became a two-parter, but, you know, when you're a parent, sometimes you got to do what you got to do. So, more? You, you build more. Mommy's been building this whole time. What can you, what, what, is there something you can do? You build. You try building. And maybe sometimes it's not so bad being a kid from time to time. Cause... Blue. You gotta have a blue tower. Oh, 
was that? Ooh. So anyway, um, ladies and gentlemen, I apologize if this episode wasn't the best to anyone's liking, but I hope you, I hope you did enjoy um, my saying on Peter Pan and Wendy. And honestly, oh, I actually do want to mention, I love the roll reverse. Um, if you, yeah, go get a blue ball. If you, <laughs> if you notice that um, sometime towards the beginning, Wendy had pixie dust on her hands. Yeah, had pixie dust on her hands. She started believing in herself, and when she was about ready to get to walk the plank, she started flying when Peter Pan couldn't. I love how that was reversed, and I love how um, Wendy took charge, like she was a natural born leader, and it it, it was pretty cool. I, I love that part, and I love the fact that Wendy pointed out. To Tinkerbell, that Peter Pan may understand Tinkerbell, but he does not listen to her. I I love that. That was pretty. That's pretty powerful right there. Because even when you can hear, you don't always listen. It's like enters one ear and out the other, and that's natural for any kid. What you got there? Ooh, Guardians of the Galaxy. You want to play with this? Yeah. Yeah. I don't know who this is. Hey viewers, do you know who this is? If you do, please leave it in the comments. Uh, who is he? Let's see if it's on the label. Oh, it's a Adam Warlock. I don't know who that is because I don't watch Guardians of the Galaxy, truth be told. Uh, I'm not into the Marvel Universe or of any kind. Hey, buddy. But, what? I will, okay, I will. I'll get into it just for your sake so you don't look at me like that. <laughs> so, I, I love that and I love how, because, let's face it, even though if you have the ability to hear or when you have the ability to hear, we don't always listen. And I love how towards the end, uh, Wendy finally has that ability to find to listen to Tinkerbell. And even even before that little line towards the end, she still listened to to Tinkerbell in her own way. And, and they started working as a team. I love that. I love how they um changed it up a little bit and it was in fact about both hello. Peter Pan and Wendy. Hello. hello. Yeah, you saying hello? Can you say hello? Hello. 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 Oh, look, Joe. <laughs> Whoop. Did you trip? All right. So, I think, honestly, that's one of the few things I probably did jo enjoy about Peter Pan and Wendy. But I think, personally, despite the fill-ins they did, there was a lot more they... Like a lot more questions towards it, but I I did I did love how how the story of Peter Pan came about. Like we, if you remember in nineteen fifty three, um, Mary Darling, um, the kid's mother, she was saying of how she believed in Peter Pan and how it was a a childlike story, and how George Darling didn't believe it at all. I always wondered how these stories came to ba came about, and I think because Peter Pan was from London, that when he went missing, that's how the stories came to be, and how Peter Pan came to be like this great adventurer of everything. So that's actually stop. pretty interesting, and stop. I love how they still tied. Is stop. it stuck? Is it stuck? Yeah. Ta-da! <laughs> Mommy got it out, didn't she? Yeah, she did. So, again, honestly, I, maybe it's because I'm more into the princesses and I'm able to talk more about it that these, um, I wouldn't, 
like these other Disney movies, while I enjoy them, I mean, 15 times, 15 times um, so far, uh, okay, 15 and a half, because I started re-watching it before this, um, it, it wasn't, it was pretty enjoyable, but I think, I think I like 1953 mainly because they made Peter Pan a child, like stay a child during the whole process. While it was great that we got some background on Peter Pan and Captain Hook, that is always a plus, I found the 1953 my, my favorite between the between both the animated and remake. It, it honestly just feels like that. So, yeah, this may not be my strongest episode, but like I say, you, you got to do what you got to do. But that's okay because I've been keeping track. We are three yeah. more weeks away until yeah. the Little Mermaid comes yeah. out. You got that stuck again. Ta-da. Mm. What, you want to put in? Ta-da. <laughs> oh, you want to close that up. <laughs> All right. Well, keep in mind, like I said, three more weeks until The Little, Ma Little Mermaid is released. I will be going to, truth be told, I'm going to try to dress up um the best I can. So if you live in my area and you are planning on seeing The Little Mermaid on premiere night, you will probably see me uh -oh. dressed as The Little Mermaid herself. No, not with fins or this uh -oh. or the seashell bra because I'm. It won't fit in there because let's face it. I don't think I think that's frowned upon in movie theaters. So until ne until the next episode, see you later and have a magical day and happy one hundredth anniversary, bye -bye. Disney. Say bye bye. You want to say bye bye? Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye. Have a have a great Saturday, guys. Bye.